what's up, Voos? Welcome back to another, another community replay on Dawn of War 3 here on Fox Cloud TV. I'm your host, Fox, and I'm gonna narrate over this entire game that was sent in to me by one of my viewers. And actually, this time it's by Sleepy, one of my friends, one of my best friends out there, and uh, he decided to actually to actually play some 1v1s to get a good recording in, and, well, right now, right now, he has a lot of troubles with his PC. He has a lot of troubles with his PC. And he can't even play, and the game crashes and shit. So, be supportive to him by writing hashtag sleepy in the comment section. I'll let him know that you love him. Anyway, now, so if you're new to this channel, if you like content like, enjoy content like this, uh, become a member of the Woof Pack by subscribing. Also, don't forget to feed the floof. Feed the floof. You can feed the floof by hitting the like button. Make it a fat ass floofy. Floof eats likes. He will explode one day. Yes. Now, let's see. Let's see what this replay will be about. So, uh, but before we begin, uh, these community replays, I do about one, uh, up to one a week. And if you want me to, uh, well, pretty much talk over your uh, game and, like, like re review it, basically, uh, like this, then, um, yeah, just send it. Send it to me. Send me your replay. Send it to, uh, it should be somewhere on the screen right now, replay at foxcloud.de. Also, of course, add your... In the description, add your uh, name so I know which player actually you are, because this is all point of view. And, well, if you want to, you can also uh, r give me a rec recommendation which music you want to be played over your game, because uh, that's also an option, by the way. So let's load this game and see what they're doing. Right, right. Now, let's see here. So, Sleepy versus rot r Rotten Treats. Rotten... Rotten treats. <laughs> so we got Elda versus Orc here. Sleepy setup is pretty expensive, actually. Oh, I got the two-point lead, so, so okay. Okay, I see. This is post-patch, by the way. Of course, uh, otherwise I couldn't actually... I still got a few... Uh, I did get uh, two replays one day before patch, so, uh, yeah. Sorry, guys, but you need to make new... Send me new replays. <laughs> and the Orc is having two... Two of these doctrine. Turret doctrine on orcs? Not a fan of it, not a fan. But let's see what happens, right? Let's begin. So, I'm gonna put Sleepy right there. And then we're gonna go follow camera. And let's see what happens. So, we can actually, uh, using the follow camera, we can actually see what he's seeing. So, I'm not controlling the camera. We're actually just following his camera movement, basically. Uh, I have user interfaces on. I think he's just right-clicking on the map right now. Right? Follow camera. And, uh, Fog of War is on. However, we still have this weird bug where you can't see anything here. What's happening? Are you... you sleepy, sleepy not moving the camera? Now he is. He was li literally looking at that base. I guess the base is very sexy. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. He chose Pokemon music, and I found some pretty cool Pokemon music, so we're listening to Pokemon right now. Okay. So yeah, we're in the early game. He's building two, he got two Dire Avengers right now. He's taking the map. Kind of annoying that the map actually bugs out. You can't see the points, unless taken. But whatever. So we got some Dark Reapers in build now. And I think he's heading out with his Dire Avengers, Captain America's. We don't have any movement speed anywhere right now. He's looking at his worker. Looking at this. Mmm, uh, delicious. So what's he trying to do? Gonna take control here, gonna build it. Uh, gonna build defenses! He's got the turret doc better uh, improved listening post doctrine right here, as you can see. Which one is this? Oh, uh, the teleport beacon. Pretty useful. Whenever I use teleport beacon, I just, uh, whenever I build a squad, I'll just place a beacon right away next to the building. And then venture off, you know, and you can just teleport them back if need be. Still no contact with the orc. What's happening? Where is that orc? Where is that orc? Hmm. So we got movement speed down there. I mean... It's not the best spot to place the movement speed. I mean, since the range is just like this somewhere, you know? But okay, it's it's, it's, it's a safe location. Well, as you can see, it's not that good range. Doesn't cover too much. 
And oh, there's the orc. Orc is playing defensive here. Sluggers. Two squads. And balloons. So what's gonna happen? Grenade? Are we seeing another grenade? Something like that? Or did both? No. That guy. That squad still got the grenade? No, the orc just wanted to keep him off his back while building. I wonder what rank... What rank level this is. I do wonder. Level rank. So, Sloopy has pretty much map control right now. Of course he didn't build anything yet too much, but still. The orc's just keeping his spots here. These two. He also has this, probably. On the map. My curse is on the map right now. So orc has this location. Orc's pretty, pretty defensive. Wonder what he's gonna do. When will he do an attack? Maybe he's going for heavy weapons? Who knows? So we got two Dark Avengers and one Dark Reapers. That's not a lot of units. It's not a lot of units. But Sleepy's building. Building stuffs. So yeah, there's, there's a defense going up here. Took that cover. We can see on the map, on the top right, we got this. Oh, he got his two-point elites now? Will he, bur will he purchase them or will he wait? I think we'll see. We'll find out. So these are building as well. A requisition so we got a wreck up there. Orcs trying to take his elite point back. Nothing really happened so far. Still waiting for it. He could have already like placed a teleporter here and just a beacon and just moved around. So the Avengers are here. You really want to fight that? Okay, you don't have movement speed up here. Make sure that's not a wrong decision. So he's building a second Dark, dark Reaper. Uh, bottom left should be finished, should be fixed. Oh, he's also summoning his elites, I see. Okay, right there. And Orc's just waiting. Will the Orc do something? What's happening? What's that Orc doing? What's the Orc doing? The friggin'! So he's got some Dark Reapers. This is very, very confusing. Nothing's really happening right now. And as I mentioned before, I do not, I do not watch these preemptive. I, I, I just, I'll just. This is my initial reaction to the entire fight. <laughs> so I don't know what will happen, and, and uh, yeah, that's what reactions are, you know. But hopefully something will happen soon. <laughs> if the orc doesn't want to fight, and just bring the fight to the orc. So he's getting some movements be here. Also a very safe area. It's not it's not it's nowhere near where he could be attacking. I mean I guess Sleepy could just do the offensive. Upgrade you got the teleport beacon. Teleport beacon? Uh yeah, teleport beacon. You got the doctrine, so just use it, right? Just use it. Do a safety placement, and then go for attackings. You even got the elites. Ah, I guess, I guess he's, in his mind, he's like, he's like, oh, I got the map, let me just, let me just use it, use the time. So he's teleported that worker to get some early vision, and the orc's still nowhere to be seen. Orc's building a giant base in center, maybe, <laughs> who knows what the orc's doing. Having fun. What is so interesting down here? <laughs> oh, he's building more Dark Reapers. I see. Infantry weaponry. infantry weaponry, okay. That's an investment of 50 energy. You gotta love that Dark Avenger cooldown, weapon cooldown. So the Orc's still not reacting! What is the Orc doing? What is he doing? You guys tell me! I do not know! I'm very confused! I'm very confused by this entire situation. Oh! It's a war! We see a war. 
What will happen? Will the orc finally do his first attack? <laughs> Giant army? <laughs> so, <laughs> just run over, run over, run, run over the shield gen one at one uh, with one shot. That'd be actually that'd be actually be funny. That'd be really funny. So the wall is done. Where's he going? Where's he at? Infantry damage upgrade okay. Secured. Oh, there is he. There he is! Orc's doing something! Let's see, we got one, two, three. Ah, ah, ah! Give me back my vision! That was three shooters. That's two sluggers and one elite. You've lost us a point. Sleepy, you shouldn't be looking everywhere right now. You should be looking here. <laughs> so, Orc's right here. That is a bigger army than his. He's just having defensive lane here. So if the orc actually went there, he would be in trouble. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Ah! Uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> they found him! Oh, perfect! Grenades! Quick! No! Throw no grenades! 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 Ah! Oh my Barris! <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> Why? No! Oh no! <laughs> it's actually kind of fun to watch beginner games. Okay, what's this? Orcs are swing. What did you have there? One point? Or was it two? That was just silly though. Both grenades would have just dealt out so much damage. Could have even had the elite drum. The way uh, the orc's army was bigger just now, but if the elites, uh, if the grenades actually, if he threw two very good grenades, one pushing them into the other, he could have killed most of the shooters one shot, and he might have even won the entire fight with less troops. So keep that in mind. So yeah, we're just having a tech battle here, and of course Sleepy has the advantage, but not too much. He didn't build everything yet. I think the elite point would have also been a good investment, especially with these expensive elites right here. So purchasing purchasing the elite point would have been pretty good. But eh, he kept the power. Now he's going for some of those guys, Shadow Spectre, Soul Orc. As you can see, yep, that was three slugs. No, is it three slugs? It's two, two slugs, three shooters, right? Yeah, uh, orc. Orc moving very dangerously, blobby. Very blob dangerous. It's like the most blobby I have ever seen in a while. <laughs> At least. Not, it's not really dangerous, though. I wonder if he has upgrades. This is half dead. Where they go? Where are they going? Where are they going? Shadow Spectres moving, moving down by, and then going there. Just back door. This is like the sneakiest beginner game ever. <laughs> Both players are just ah ah. He found him. So what's he gonna do? Going invisible? That's not gonna work. Oh! Oh, that was a very far jump. Sheesh. No that worked. Interesting. How far is the jump range? Go back to them. The indicator. Look at that. Did they did did they increase the jump range? I wonder, did they increase the jump They increased the jump range, didn't they? Was it always that high? Wait, what? I need to see the scorpions again to see the indicator. Just one more time. So yeah, he's gonna laser this thing. What are these, how, what are these weapons called anyway? 
Uh, they're not... Are those laser lances? I think they might be laser lances. They might be something else though. Maybe Shadow Spectre Enhanced Laser Lances. If somebody knows what these weapons are called, let me know in the comment section below. That would be very interesting. I think they're laser lances or some kind of special Spectre Laser Lances. Spectre Lances. <laughs> That's my guess. So, what next? The orc is... The orc is actually pretty disappointing. I wish it would be more uh, aggressive. But the orc's also very, very groupy. So we got some whoop spiders in the game now. Whoopin' ass. Gonna whoop ass. Gonna whoop ass with the whoop spiders. Let's go. So come on, Sleepy. Just do it. Whoop that orc's ass. Whoop it. <laughs> He's got movement speed up there. I think he could just... I mean, with those two Shadow Spectres, I mean, this early, this is Escalation Phase 2, right? I think he could even get... Almost kill the turret if the Builder Unit would tank the turret for a bit. He could at least deal a lot of damage, let's say like that. He already got the damage upgrade. The first one, at least. So what's these guys gonna do? Fidget spinners! Pickle Rick! I'm Pickle Rick! So we found ourselves some fidget spinners. The orc's going for fidget spinners. <laughs> it's getting more weird. What a decision, fidget spinners, okay. My personal guess is if I, if I do some mind picking, the orc actually saw those chatter specters just floating around doing shit. And he decided to like also do some skimming. But I guess it's gonna be no more fidget spinners now. Yeah, getting rid of this building is pretty expensive. So that's not a bad choice. But do not underestimate, underestimate fidget spinner damage. And yet. Oh. Uh, so will we kill the fidget spinners or will the fidget spinners fight back? So Orc lost a very expensive building. It was also very unprotected, so yep. Oh, fidget spinner chase. Let's see how let's see how effective this is. They should deal a good amount of damage. Come on! You're having a fight! Watch the fight, man! Oh, there's another fight. Oh, okay, okay. Well we can watch the damage down here. So the fidget spinners won! The fidget spinners actually won! So, how's this gonna go? Of course, he has a very good defensive setup here. So the orc can't actually do too much with those early units. There's the fidget spinners. So two fidget two fidget one one died, one almost died, so that's a thing. But he's also got a Vipper now! A Vipper! Eldar Vipper! Viper jet bike. <laughs> they ain't doing anything. Okay. Ugh, but the arc seems to not really know what he's doing. So that's very, very, very beginner. Very much beginner arc. Like I always say, it's not a bad thing to be a beginner. You learn something with every single game you play. And if you really want to learn how to play the game, play one-on-one. -on -one. It's just because, well, in one-on-one -on -one you get more of the of the actual reaction and 1v1 feeling of the game. And you, you get more into the game by, oops, by playing one-on-one. -on -one. That was, oops. So, Sleepy's now having some heavy, heavy, heavy tank stuff. So Sleepy's just gonna beat up this orc, I guess. So he's just placing mines everywhere. I think he could just teleport up here. Like, make a link to base, teleport up here and just go in. Ah, that's some tank busters right there. Ouch. Which doctrine is this? The Viper Haste, okay. 
Five praise is actually very good. Take 50% less damage. I mean, I think that's very good. Very tough. He's gonna, just gonna... Just gonna whoop! Whoop these asses! With the whoop speeders! <laughs> oh! Oh! So we got an Arc Mage on the field. That is connected to somewhere. Where is this wet wig connected to? Wait a sec, can I see on the map? Uh, yep, it's connected to his base? Uh, okay. You gonna teleport it or something? What are you planning? What are you planning, mate? Dude, you got such a big army. You should just do positioning, like, uh, one step at a time. I think you could just erase those orcs. You could just erase them. Without losing anything, pretty much. We have upgraded vehicle or just push the turret. You got a shit ton of options. And get the elite point. <laughs> you do not need to defend, man. Just go offense. Attack! I know, this is kind of cringe. <laughs> but, but! So we got these guys here. I think it would be enough to have like, maybe a squad of banshees in here and then one squad of these nearby. And everything else just, just move, move this way. That's what I would be doing, probably. Just move this way or just, just teleport top. I would just go, go for a turret. Uh, go for broke! For great breakfast. Great breakfast. Tony Tiger. We have upgraded vehicle damage. So we get more vehicle damage. We're already, we're already at the 20 minute mark. Almost. <laughs> Five seconds. So it's escalation phase number three. Yep, escalation phase three. I wonder why. I wonder how come I had so much trouble uh, in the first few, in the first two months maybe of Dawn of War three with the escalation phases. I mean, it's super easy. Every ten minutes, escalation phase done. Why did I ever have problems with that? <laughs> how did I even have problems with that? Ah, he's connecting. Connecting his webway gate to the top. So we'll finally have some action now. But the orc! The orc's just doing defense! I mean, he did do an attack. But it still was. It was just his starting army with a few fidget spinners. Ah, uh, the orc. Sleepy's just. Sleep, I know I know for a fact that Sleepy is, is uh, better than this. <laughs> if you want to say that. But uh, he's, he's just super, super, uh, he's playing it super safe. But the Orc really needs a lot more training, though. Oh, we got Wraith Blades. Yeah, come on, this is over. Just teleport in and go. Go, go, go! Oh. They're just moving this way. I mean, they, uh, sure, they can just move, move over here, something like that. I kind of actually wished. Um, I mean, that's that's basically fault of fault of the programmers. But if you think about it, they should have uh, since since you need to click on the ground. There's like you need to you need to literally, literally click on the ground to do commands and shit. Uh, whenever you, whenever you have a gap like here. Or wherever there's a gap with like no ground, uh, the ground would be all the way on the bottom, or non-existent. So if you want to click somewhere, say say you want to have these guys like float right here, you would need to click the ground where they would be above, which is kind of weird. Uh, if I was a programmer on their side, I do and yes, I have experience in programming video games. I may I 
made my own video games, but whatever. Um, I would have programmed like an invisible ground somewhere a little below the regular ground to make the clicking easier. And this invisible ground um, would have just changed so much. But yeah, whatever. So the orc, the orc just closed the core. It just closed the core, teleported his units back, and we'll finally have a fight now. Oh, what's that? Knobs. One, two knobs? Two? More? Just fight. Fight! No! I don't think the orc has micromanagement to beat your army here. Wait, what? Wait, how many orc knobs are these? One? Two? Three? Four? Wait, was that five knobs just now? That's not... No, that, no, that wasn't five knobs, was it? Was it five knobs? Does this guy have a knob? Knobs? What? Uh, the orc's going for an attack. I think he finally realized that he can't just sit on his resources. So what you're gonna do now, Sleepy? I mean, you got a builder there. You could just... Move here, teleport in, teleport your building, and you're done. So many mines. Where'd the orc go? Don't tell me the orc just... Ah, okay. He's going for an attack. So this is going to be the final battle. Let's go. Let's see something here. Oh, we got a walker as well. So that's one, two knobs, three knobs, four knobs, five... Five knobs! We got five friggin' knobs here. Of course! Going down pretty quick though. Five friggin' knobs. They don't really feel upgraded. What's this? Uh, 3450. Is that the base value? Hmm. So yeah. Oh, that's the elite. There's still some knobs live. But this won't hold on. The Ark will die now. Yep, yeah, that's it. Too bad though. Too, too bad though. The Ark's, the Ark is really, really a beginner. Probably in his very, very early stage. Kind of feels like it. Also, probably, probably not very used to uh, RTS. It's kind of uh, like I said. This is not. I'm not blaming, or blaming or anything. Okay, I'm just. I'm just uh, pointing out some some facts and stuff, but the orc, uh, what the orc is missing is uh, completely missing uh, any type of micromanagement, pretty much. And of course, there's there's all the general tactics. So so yeah, this is a the orc was pretty much a beginner, but whatever. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> whatever. So sleepy got a victory, huh? It's Bobber. Next time, send me something a little more interesting. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, this was our community video for this week. Uh, the other videos that I got sent are all pre-patch. Uh, even though even though there were videos from 29th, those were also pre-patched, so they don't work. I wasn't able to uh, review those. But I did want to make one, so this is the one you get for now. And um, yeah, so if you want to send me your replays, then uh, be it beginner level, pro level, it doesn't matter. I will just watch them and react to them. And yeah, so if you want to send me something, just send it to duwreplay at fox foxclaw.de. <laughs> it should be somewhere on the screen right now. And um, yeah, chances are I will review your replay yes so um yeah thanks for watching if you enjoy content like this become a member of the Foof pack if you haven't already by subscribing also don't forget to feed the floof feed the floof you can feed the floof by hitting the like button make it a fan as floof floof eats likes i will explode one day yes so um yeah i'm also doing uh, if you're new to this channel and if, if this is your very first video uh do not fret i also do uh, experienced uh, 1v1s, other replays, and my very own series of 1v1s. So there's that. And I also play other games, so check those out. And I'm gonna say, see you next time, and box out!